Hi, my name's Chris. I work for a company called The Animal Man. For the past 50 years, we've been traveling up and down the country, visiting schools, nurseries, retirement homes, care homes, hospitals, prisons, and we've even been on the TV trying to bring people closer to wildlife. Today, we've partnered up with the STEM response team for Wild Wednesday to show you some of the amazing creatures that us at The Animal Man work with. Here we've got little Miss Fluffy. Miss Fluffy is a Chilean rosehair tarantula. Now all that means is she comes from the country Chile. She has a beautiful pink glow on the top of her head, which is where the rose part of her name comes from. She's also covered in these little tiny hairs all throughout her body. Now those tiny little hairs act as ears. Every time there's a bit of sound, every time there's movement or any sort of vibration that goes through the air, it will tickle these hairs first. It will let her know whether it's food or whether it's danger. So that activates her senses of fight or flight. At this sort of size, if it's anything bigger than crickets, locusts, or any sort of insects like that, usually she will try and run away. Eventually, when she gets a bit bigger, she will eventually try and take on mice, sometimes over small rodents as well. Next up, we've got Dexter. Now, Dexter is a corn snake who originates from North America. Now, he, these guys became very popular when farmers, rather than buying traps and poison to catch and kill all the rats and mice, they decided, why not buy a snake that lives for 20 years, will catch and kill as many rats and as many mice as it sees all year round. Now, that way they saved themselves lots of money. They also didn't have to worry too much because they'd get water in the rain, they'd keep themselves nice and warm on the farm, they'd get plenty of food whenever, as and whenever they spotted mice, and rats. Now, with these guys, they are constrictors. They don't contain any venom or, at all. So just like the boa constrictor, what they like to do is sneak up on prey, attach their jaws on and throw as many coils, pretty much like what he's done to my hand right now, around their prey as possible. They'll squeeze the life out of their prey before dislocating their jaw, swallowing their prey whole, two to three days later, digesting it all out of their system. Alan. Alan is a white-faced scops owl all the way from Africa. Now as you can see, Alan is quite a small owl. He isn't young however, he's about seven years old, but he is fully grown. Unfortunately for him, he is the third smallest owl breed in the world and this is the size he's got to stay. Now as you can see, what he lacks in size he certainly makes up for in attitude. Although being, a little, being an owl like this, his main, claw, his main weapon isn't his beak, it is in fact his claws, his talons. Now, he uses those to rip apart his food and tears chunks out of his food. At this sort of size, what he likes to eat is chicks, small mice, even small rats. And he, he even in Africa, he'd even try any small lizards and frogs that he would find in and around the wild. This is George. George is bearded dragon. The minute you can see how laid back he is, he's fast asleep. He doesn't mind at all. But George originates from Australia, as you can tell. He just sits, sunbathes, and does absolutely nothing all day long. He'll hunt little insects, crickets, locusts, mealworms, grasshoppers, anything like that. He occasionally eats a little bit of veg. But most of the time he's sat on a log, sat on a rock, catching the sun, just like this. The great thing about bearded dragons is the most distinctive beards are what tells us whether they're in a good mood or a bad mood. At the minute, with his beard nice and bright and nice and white, tells me he's quite happy. It's really warm in this room and he's quite sociable, so he loves being handled, so he's enjoying this. If he was in a bad mood, however, he would let me know. His head would come up. All this skin here would puff out and that beard will turn black. Now when his beard turns black, that tells me to put him down, he's had enough or he just wants food. 